Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you can make your Nitrado private um, PS4 or this would go for Xbox or PC really um, Daisy server more stable to, to stop it crashing uh, quite as much and what you do is if you go to your Nitrado uh, services uh, menu and then click on the web interface these gears on the right next to the server that you're having trouble with and when you click on that that will then take you over to your dashboard here. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to go down to timed restart down here. And you'll probably have one timed restart on there. And unfortunately at the moment, especially with the DayZ servers, is it appears that they can't handle being on for all day, you know, for, for basically 20, 23 hours and 55 minutes uh, a day at some point they'll get some sort of error that will occur as well um, it could be something like a memory leak or a bug that a rare bug maybe in the game that kind of builds up and, the, and then crashes the server and when it tends to do it it tends to be a server stop situation where the server just stops and then you'll get messages from from the people who use your server again oi it stopped can you do something about it now what I've done with my one is I've set it to restart, so reboot itself, turn itself on and off again um, every six hours. And it's dead easy to do. All you do is see at the top here where it says restart, you, you, and you can put a message that might work. I don't, I don't think the restart message works on them, on them, on the Daisy PS4 servers. But you just pick a time. Now, what's weird about this is that the way you pick the time and the hours is is the 24-hour clock. Um, and then pick the minutes but when you add it it changes it into a 12 hour clock so there we go so I've added another one so at 1.13 in the afternoon um, the server will stop and then restart um, if you make a mistake while you're doing it you can just click remove and you can you can get rid of it um, and you could add more I found that after adding a, a, break, a six hour cycle of restart I haven't had any problems fingers crossed though um, now also remember that at other times when Nitrado are uh, say pushing out updates to Daisy um, hot fixes and things like that you could well get extra stops and starts that are happening um, finally something else that can cause a problem is if you go into your uh, config files and you've edited your messages.xml but you've added, you could poss possibly, if you made a mistake here, add something that would, could cause the server to, to crash as well. That would tend to happen straight away though. So if that happens, what you should do is go back to the, the, the uh, initial one, reset it, because hopefully before you changed anything, you saved the old uh, file you know, or the contents of the old file in a, in a text document on your computer or laptop and you can copy it back in. Um, if however you haven't got it, you can obviously contact Nitrido support, and they can send you the kind of the default uh, file. Or if you get really stuck, contact me. I've got it saved on my computer. But I think the best way is with these timed restarts. That's what's worked for me, and it kind of makes sense as well, doesn't it? That because you know when you're playing on public servers, they restart quite regularly, don't they? Probably every four hours, but six hours seems to work. So midnight, six o'clock, twelve o'clock, and then six o'clock, then midnight again. Right, okay, hopefully that's uh, helped, and I'll, um, well, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. If you haven't got a Nitrado private server, there's a link down below in the YouTube description. I'm a Nitrado partner, so I do get a little cut from that. It goes towards running the web, uh, running the channel, and running the servers, and running the, the Discord, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can also support the channel through Patreon. Really, really appreciate that. I'll become a member of the YouTube channel, and that is fantastic. And that would then give you access, to, if you're over 18, to our PlayStation 4 um, private server um, which is uh, which is coolio brilliant well that's enough for me and I'll see you again soon